Hello everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and the people of Cordofan in our quest to maybe not completely lose out here and trying to build the Kingdom of Kush. Of course, in the last episode, we joined Leila in their, I guess, independence war. If we look at here, it's war against the tyranny of Chiefess Mikhailiko of Elodia. The war started two years ago. Um, it is... It, you know, it's been a little up and down. Um, early up, followed by a, a quick down. We're, we're seeing here that uh, they're going to resiege this in a few days. Our troops are near back to full capacity. But we're we're just a little bit off from that, and they're they're gonna reconquer this, and that's gonna basically restart everything from scratch. Um, so there you go. It's we're back at a negative. We gotta wait to get our full troop contingent, which we do have now. Um, we're, we're quality. It's. We're, 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 we're still getting there. 2400, 2410. I'd say we're just about ready to head back and try to reconquer their capital. And see if we can do it with our 2400. They are heading up north here through the kingdom of Nubia. Interestingly enough. Oh, they're heading down south this way. They're either going to try to conquer some of our lands or break this siege, which I'm okay with because that will buy us time. Of course, the defenses here being as low as they are, we've got a few months now to get Senar back. I mean, that's basically the direction this war is going, is constantly dealing with this. Now, whether or not we'll, we're going to be able to siege this down and then head across these lands and head these this contingent off, which is also very strong, but ideally meet up with this force from our allies who will siege that down here fairly soon. Okay, those guys are heading back. They're just kind of sitting there on the border. My poor son, Pneumonia. Today I was given grave news. My son Grim has fallen ill with pneumonia. The future is uncertain. Death lingers closely by his bedside. Yet he might survive. Only Shy knows. The physician wants to know how my son should be treated. We are going to leave the choice up to our son. We're going to empower him. Self-empowerment. Very, very important. Okay, we've got a few days left here. We will have Senar. Sister has been taken prisoner, but we have now won a very important siege here. So, now the question is, what do we do? They've got a pretty strong force right there. Uh, how, how is this siege looking? They've won that siege, so she's going to head to El Fasher. Um, Kind of want to head down this way and avoid those troops. If she's going to try to... Siege down El Fasher. Yep. And that is exactly where we're going to head then. Uh, how long is that siege going to take? It's going to take seven months. All right. We're going to we're gonna head over here. I mean, if we can just have one big decisive battle. Her niece has been imprisoned. Hunter comes of age. I am proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that tutelage would be enough to teach Hunter the intricacies of careful planning. All efforts have come to naught, as always. Gosh, everyone's always disappointing their kids. All right, so uh, we will. The betrothal is set. We will send the proposal, and the marriage is done. Now, this is a large army coming in here, but if we get here in time to combine our troops. Then there is a chance that we can win a decisive battle. Right now, we're going to win, but it'll be really close. Renewed Jihad. The House of Islam is under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels. 
in his very heartlands. In response, his magnificence Caliph Muhammad has declared that an era of renewed jihad is upon the world. The core regions of the Dar al-Islam must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim faithful should prepare to join the ranks of the Mujahideen for the upcoming struggles. This could be the beginning of unprecedented Muslim aggression. Uh, Web Wawet, protect us. Okay, but we have this right here. I, uh, I don't know if we're going to get here in time. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it to reinforce in time, but will we get there in time to engage that army? Uh-oh. We will probably lose, is what they are telling us. Uh, it's close. It's really close. The tide has turned in our favor. It looks like we're going to win this battle. Oh, pneumonia. Balance humors. My son Grim has recovered from pneumonia. Fantastic. Wonderful news. Never doubted that. For a second, we're going to win this very important battle of El Fasher. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, oh, we've got the war score. We've got the war score. Okay. So, now, press... Enforce demands. Come on. The chief has been deposed. That is part of it. Press. Press. I mean, we can't do it because we're not the war leader. So we're just kind of waiting and seeing if those demands are going to be enforced. We cannot do it. Come on. Just end this war. And I'm curious to see. Ah, okay, so be it. Victory. We won the war led by Chieftess Patricia of Elela. So, the Chieftess is deposed. So be it. All right. Hi, Chieftain Dimethos has become your new liege. Okay, so this wasn't an independence war. This was simply knock someone down war. war. Invitation, okay. We are now back to being the spy master. And Elodia is very, very weak. This would be the time we have the manpower. Now, we may want to just wait a second uh, and regain some manpower. How much manpower are they going to regain? They're going to regain a decent amount. They have some mercenaries in their ranks. Uh, new lifestyle perk. Perfect. Open-minded. So culture, different culture opinion, plus 15. Ignore negative culture opinion, yes. Now, we have a few prisoners. Oh, my daughter-in-law has given birth to a son, Pid. Pid, I think we will name you after a previous person in our family that unfortunately, you know, had this weird accident at some point. So I, I really really apologize for that <laughs> and we will name you Brahmya the second no, no, no let's call you Brahmya the new <laughs> Brahmya the new welcome welcome to the world okay so let's see can we get any money for these people no we cannot till death do us part wife as you drew your last breath relief washed over me Perhaps I should be ashamed, but in truth, there was no love lost between us. Finally, I am free to start my life anew. Woo! -hoo! Not one day too soon. Wow, that is that is really harsh. Let's see. Whoa, you would be good at the intriguing. Um, we're obviously going to demand conversion and recruit. And can we cook? Yeah, let's do all of that. What about you? Can we get any money for you? No. Are you worth a damn? Ooh, good martial skills. So, negotiate release, we're going to demand conversion, you know, we cook and recruit. Obviously, that's going to completely tank their opinion of us, but I just don't care. Okay. So, now, we need to find a good marriage. You gained a favor hook. Yes, I understand all of this. So, now it is time to find a new wife. So, looking across this, we've got a few we could pick from. But what I like here is we have got some pressed claims. And Chieftain Ibadu gets 200 prestige out of this. Asha gets 100. Um, if we go back here, it's not matrilineal. And we gain 
some claims. Can we scroll out here. Farewell, okay. Or at least, okay. So we gain a few claims just down in here. So we are going to send a proposal for that marriage and get a new wife. Fantastic. Oh, this is one that we let go. Good. And now what we can look at as we are near full power and full strength again. Again, domain holdings, that's that's a bit of an issue for us right now. But Elodia could be ours for the taking right now. We're just going to wait until our troops are back fully replenished. Then we can do that. We can ransom, pay 10. Sure. We'll pay that ransom, get somebody back, get somebody to like us. We are, we are close to full strength here. So here's a quick overview on where things sit in terms of the balance of power should we declare our independence war right now. Uh, it's, it's looking pretty 50-50. If you look at our set factions, military power, we can press our demands... Just waiting for this to tick over. I'm not overly concerned. I mean, we're talking about a little bit more. Just a few more. So uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to press our demands. Ultimatum to High Chieftain Demethos for our independence. If he obviously doesn't accept, then there will be civil war against him. All right. I feel like this is something we need to do. And we need to do it now. See what comes back. Independence demands refuse to my cloistered vassal. Your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded. No matter how many corrupted souls you've enticed to help carry out your plan, I will not give in without a fight. I'd rather die defending what is mine than war it is. All right. We have cleared war. And we will call in our allies... Yeah, she won't come in to that, obviously, but it was worth worth a try. And now we will march on the capital with our troops. Excellent. Oh, it looks like they are actually caught in a battle there. New translation. More than anything, my quest to be a learned man is teaching me how much I do not yet know. What more, there must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages. As books fall apart or languages are forgotten, perhaps I should contribute by making a new translation of one of the classical works. Although, what would I even translate? Mm, something personal in my family history. Something grand, one of the ancient myths, or it sounds too hard. No, 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 no. Um, family history. I'm going to go with family history. So, Elodia is actually defending against... Uh, oh, raiders. They're dealing with raiders to the south. And here they are coming back with 1,100. Well, they're going to avoid that that battle. We have low county control. I'm okay with that. Here come another 500. Question is, has this been... Razin might join the independence war as an enemy. Will Maj join? No, she won't. It was worth a try. All right, how much time do we have? We have eight months, so they've rebuilt a little bit. Those troops are moving around. New translation, the constant effort to translate my family history is tiring. The relentless focus, understanding, and creativity required drains me as I move ever closer to its completion. There's a few more pages tonight, then a few more in the morning. I must seclude myself from all other distractions until this is done. Yeah, I mean, we're temperate, so we're not going to push it too much. All right, so those guys are moving through our dirt. We've got seven months left here. And enemy has joined. So Cordofan is under siege. It'll take seven months. And we've got six months, so we're slightly ahead. And our mercenary contract is expiring. That's not good. But our allies are up north at Naga. Taking care of business there. Question is, oh, here comes the enemy. This may be may have been a an ill-conceived war, but we'll see. 
Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> maybe. Uh, we got four months left here. A four months. Oh, it's gonna be so tight. It's a race for the capital. We've got five months left in the siege of Naka. But I felt like it was time to try and press and push forth with this. We got 29 days. They have 53 days. Yeah, I mean, we're going to win this siege, head over there, and fight a really tight battle. See what this does for... All right, we've got 85. Okay, we're going to push this. It is an even battle. We won the siege. If we can get there and force that battle in time... I don't think we're going to get there in time. Ah, they won that siege. Damn it. Bear comes of age. They grow up so fast. That is true. Malaz has died. We have a new priest. Okay, have they won Naga? They did. So now we just need to get our main holding back. And that will take three months. A new translation. My translation of my family history is coming along. But one section in this version I am copying from gives me pause. My scribes insist that the words on the page mean as we hold two feet and spirits rising edges of hunter. That cannot be right, can it? I come up with something more fitting. And we gain 150 prestige. So South Cordofan is under siege. That will take five months. But we will get this in three months. Mercenary company has been dismissed. Uh-oh. Now they have more troops than us. But if we can get this siege back, that might help. A new translation continues. A specific phrase from my family history has been frustrating. My translation efforts for days. I've even started muttering it to myself sometimes. Still struggling with that one, are you? My court priestess hefts a weighty old tome. One simply needs to know where to look. Help me uncover this, Mensa. Mensa? Really? Hmm. Yes, help me uncover this. I may, I might be willing to go into debt. Uh, mercenaries. This would put us into debt, but uh, it would be worth it if we get our independence from it. But we'll see where the war score is once we win our siege back. Uh, an excellent translation. My translation of my family history finally stands complete. My words rest on beautifully illuminated pages, all protected by a lavish cover, as befits the work's importance. The tome has taken pride of place in my library. Um, and every priest who reads it m is mightily impressed by my efforts. Some are already speaking of making copies of their own. Fantastic. Okay, we're at 99%. We won the siege... New lifestyle perk, we're going to go with apostate, so different faith opinion, up plus 15. Faith conversion costs minus 75%. All right, we're at, oh, we're at 99. We need a new commander. We're going to put Abu Bakr in charge, or Kareem. Kareem, you can be in charge of our military. Um, oh, we're so close. I'm going to take... The risk. We are going to... Oh, I can't. Because debt is more than two years. Oh, and they're going to win that. Do we attempt? I mean, if they break off the siege, we're going to lose this because they have more soldiers. We're defending in Hell's Hills and have more men at arms. More soldiers is always the key. Oh, we have it. We have it. We have it. We have it. Enforced demands. Oh... Oh, that was... Oh, that was so close. And we are independent once more. We have done it. First, we were part to unseat the leadership of Elodia. And now we our independence war was fought and won. And we are once again an independent nation. Ransom. We can pay 10. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. You can usurp the High Chieftain of Cordofan. What do I need? It requires 250 gold. 
but we need that title. We do need that one. Bear can marry. Um, let's see. Has claims on the following. Matrilineal marriage. And he has a lot of pressed claims. Yes. That is the marriage we choose. Bear gets 300 prestige. He gets 100. And it is a matrilineal marriage for Bear. And we are once again independent. But we need that high chieftain uh, title. And we are missing out on a lot of money to do that. We need a big chunk of change. So, the question is... How best do we do that? We could raid. I want El Fasher so bad. They have 1,200. They go back to 1,600. I mean, at some point, we're going to go to war with Elodia. Because we are more powerful than them. Power of the Sacred Stones. Court Priestess Mensa often quotes passages from the Sacred Stones about the Holy Virtues. I should prove I have paid attention by quoting a passage of my own. Preferably... One which complements her personality. I will memorize and recite a section on contentedness. I am very content. We gained 100 piety. Piety is very, very high. Now we could try to take Kirim. There's nothing there. They've got no money. Uh, Kadam. How powerful are they? They are pretty strong. That would not be a good one to go to war with. Darsila, Kirim, I kind of want to just take them. Um, how strong is Nubia? Nubia is extremely powerful. But we could raid. Uh, raiding is obviously something we could do. These guys down here in Damots. There are options here. We could just take a county or, of course, we could, you know, just go raiding. My, my Chancellor Petronia has worked hard to convince our neighboring realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with uh, High Chieftain Demetrios of Alodia is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. Once again, free to declare war upon him as I please. Haha, -ha, fantastic, fantastic work. Sway with compliments. Um, oh, he likes us now. Keep it short and professional. Uh, we can actually end that scheme. We don't need to do that anymore. Let's look at our council. Is there anybody that really doesn't like us? No, not particularly. We're looking okay there. Um, our court. Well, we're, we're okay there. Realm. We can pass a uh, limited tribal authority. It'll cost us 218. Tribal rules with non lieges may settle, becoming feudal or clan. Yeah, we will pass those laws. We have no vassals. We can change this to just partition, but we need feudal clan government. We're we're not not quite not quite there just yet. We're working on it. We're working on it. All right, so I've reviewed some of our options that we have right now. Obviously, we're, there's no way to make a quick buck. Now, we can, of course, go to war again with Elodia. Um, militarily, they're not overly powerful right now. If we look at our options here, uh, we, we are stronger. Military strength, similar, but we are a bit stronger. Now, we could do a subjugation war. So, uh, so we gain High Chieftain Demetrius' primary title and make him, High Chieftain, make him our vassal. So we get Elodia, Alwak, Kordofan, and Darfur. We gain 350 in fame, um, and we gain a lot of vassals. We can subjugate them and make them ours. Um... A straight up invasion we simply don't have uh, the prestige for a kingdom invasion duchy invasion I'd want this area here and we don't have the level of fame or we could just go for the county and finally get El Fasher 
<clears throat> but it seems like a lot of trouble to just go for a county. Excuse me. Got, a th <clears throat> Got something stuck in my throat. Hold on. There. Quick sip of coffee and we're, we're all good again. So this is the decision I have to make. That Chieftain Ibidu Ibn Kilkel has to make. We don't have the money to usurp the title and become a high chief. However, we could do a subjugation war against Elodia. There's a good chance we will win it. We've now gone to war with Elodia twice. We finished two wars. One of them was overthrowing the high chiefess. And the second one, of course, was our own independence. This, I feel like this could be the play because we do subjugation war and we win it. Then all of Elodia, all of this is ours and we gain that contested title. It's a huge, huge jump forward in what we want to do. We've got low county control again in Cordofan. So we're going to go to our council. And how are we looking here? Still working on county control here. So once that's done, we'll send them in here. Uh, we don't have any prisoners. Bramya, the new, is in prison. I'd kind of very much like to ransom him back for 10. Yeah. I'll pay the 10 gold to have him back. And I will give this a think as to what the next decision will be. I feel like a subjugation war against Elodia is what we need to do. Now, obviously, then we're dealing with we need to do culture conversions. We need to do faith conversions, all that kind of stuff as fast as possible so that we don't deal with too many internal rebellions and uprisings. So that's very, very, very important. But I will leave that until the next episode. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button. As the tide has turned back in our favor, after obviously everything that happened with Chieftain Gelgel, and, you know, those two wars with Elodia, and what was uh, Westar 4 out here, and then being subjugated, him then dying, Ibidu Ibn Gelgel, who I didn't have high hopes for, when he first ascended to the throne uh, or to become the ruler of Kordofan, has done a remarkable job in reunifying Kordofan and gaining independence from Elodia. And I feel like the next step would be to turn around and subjugate Elodia and then start to steamroll into here so there's enough power that we could take on the Nubian kingdom next. So, until next time, I am Realm Builder Guy, and I will talk to you soon.